what I just said about the Vatos from Mars is any different than WAC 100 saying he fucks with Raza from Northern California. Who? When? Where? <laughs> you know, it's funny how people that, that never been to prison don't know how to listen. You listen to the words that come out of somebody's mouth, right? But listen to what doesn't come out of their mouth. When you can't read between the, between the lines, that's your ass, right? So, you know, WAC, WAC 100 is, is, is able to fool apparently a lot of people. But the thing that people are, are choosing to overlook, right? Let me remind, remind you and go back and watch the video. What was said in that whole thing by whacking his buddies, fuck Mexicans. Mexicans can't be trusted. We don't fuck with Mexicans in the Midwest. We don't fuck with Mexicans out in New York. They can't be trusted. They get together. They're all racist. What's that got to do with Southern or Northern? Fuck Mexicans. Fuck. We don't fuck with them. They can't be trusted. Then they throw in the little, the little Southern thing at, man, that's what I'm saying. It's easy. You know, when, 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 when Gil was asked, but did, when he said about, you know, messing with Southerners, is that racist? Nah, that's a business choice. It's a bad business choice. It's a bad business model, but it's his right to, to do that. Right. But you can't overlook the fact that they said, fuck Mexicans, you know, and, um, if you guys haven't tapped in lately, you know, I got whack on the phone. Got his phone number from a mutual a mutual acquaintance, a homie, man. My homie, his acquaintance. Let's just say it like that. I um, got his phone number, man. Tapped in with whack on the live, to which he answered. And he kept it very respectful. And he answered a lot of the questions that I needed answered. Just for my own safety and security, for my own well-being. You know, for my own mentality. I asked him questions that a lot of people wanted to speak on and what a lot of people needed answers for. And he answered them to the best of his abilities and he kept it very respectful. And I gained a whole little bit of respect for Wack and the way he held the conversation, the way he reciprocated facts back and forth and the way he kept it real. Now, in the beginning of my channel, when I first started my channel, I always showed love for Cash Jones because I did CYA time with them, you know, and then when I made... A story, you know, I told the story about, hey, look, me and Wack did this, and me and the homeboy sheep from Pacoima did that, and this is how it went down. He denied. But one thing I know about Wack is he's not going to give anyone any credit. He's going to always constantly deny. He's going to be like, oh, no, you won't. Pow, roll, right with two, two uh, feet of ass dragon. And that's fine. That's fine. But I took it as a slight, as a disrespect, because I was like, wow, man, I thought you would show a little channel some love, but I guess that wasn't to be the case. So I went in a little bit on him. I clowned a little bit. I capped a little bit. We had a little bit of fun. But the, at the end of the day, man, order as you can tell by that thumbnail right there, this motherfucker, Whack 100, done did it again, huh? Huh. You know, now look, last time we had a conversation on the phone, you guys heard it. You know, I try to be unbiased. I try to be non-disrespectful. I try to keep it real like a real G does and have a simple conversation and get down to the bottom of certain situations, certain subjects, right? And for the most part, that individual, this individual likes the clout, likes the light, likes the views, and likes to disrespect people. But we ain't going for that, Rasa. That's one thing for sure we're not going to do. I called this man at 8 o'clock this morning, and his fat ass was butt naked in bed asleep. Talk about, I don't wake up before 11. I will be calling him later on today. I will try to drop the exclusive video, because I'm going to check this fat fucker and let him know exactly what time it is in behalf of the people. If you think I'm playing... Tap in later, right? Because I will definitely be getting on his headpiece about what he said. Now, what did he say exactly? What got me in the upward? What got me feeling some type of way? Well, he disrespected a woman first and foremost. And the way he disrespected this brown woman was very, very, very sneakily and very straight. Just, 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 he's trash, homie. The way he did his trash. First of all, it's a goddamn woman. You ain't going to take no fades from Jay Diggs. You ain't taking no fades from any of your people. Your people's done got at me. See, I get at WAC 100's big homeboys. That's facts, right? And his big homeboy told me back when he was a golden bear playing football, jersey number one, right? He was a Rudy Poop, nothing. Now, I was in Y with him. He did back my play. That's facts, right? But one thing I'm going to say for sure, that's why he had any level of respect fucking with the gun gun. But I'm going to tell you right now, Hampton, this is as real as it gets, right? Anything and all level of respect I've lost for this individual. I do have his phone number. That's facts. I will tap in. I will call him. 
I will address it for the people, by the people, because I feel that I have to. I feel that I can't just sit here and spin a narrative and talk about I'm for the brown if I'm not doing something for the brown. And because I'm able and I'm willing to do this, you know what I mean? It is. Whole lot more, man. man, you can't, you can't, brother. You, I mean, hey, so all I wanted to ask you, man, is, and 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 I know you're a busy man, man. If one of these days you can sit down on this live with us, man, and fuck with us one time, man, you know, yeah, I, ain't tripping, bro. You know I don't give a fuck, you know, I fuck with the North thing, y'all gonna join anyway, so okay, okay, you know, I appreciate you. Know, you. That North, you know, I mean, I ain't tripping one way or another. I tell a lot of people, once you get to know me, you'll realize how many motherfuckers. Really I'm saying this shit with digs, man. Hey, but what about the song, Wack? How, how about the song? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. That's my boy right here. He was asking the question. Go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah. I sent the nigga in my location. I waited for that nigga six hours. That nigga told me every 30 minutes he was five minutes away. I got all content in all of my text messages. I don't, I don't even know this nigga. I ain't seen this nigga. You know, you know how it is, bro. When niggas been trying to do something 15, 20 years, right? Don't work. All you got to do is mention whack name. People talk about you. He has never been talked about this much without mentioning my name. I ain't never seen this thing. I don't know nothing about this nigga. Mm. Hey, so I'm not a rapper. I don't know nothing about this nigga. 52, 53 years old. I ain't never hey. seen this nigga did no business with this to make a nigga talk. Shit. Look, hey, hey, whack. Can I ask you a serious question? No bullshit. What the fuck kind of boxers did 6 9 have when he got his ass whooped? What kind of what? Hey, he said what? He said what kind of motherfucking undershorts did motherfucking 6 9 have when he got that his ass whooped? That shit was shiny. Hey, come that on, shit was dynamic. That motherfucker had, he was wearing them Axl Rose and throwbacks. Back. I don't know, bro. I wasn't paying attention to all that. All I know is this is he won. That nigga won. He won. <laughs> He he, 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 won. he he walked out, bro. He walked out. He did. He won, bro. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You look at crazy. You got a nigga 230, another nigga, three niggas, this nigga face shot, rib shot. That is true. 